Maze of Memories. Is what we'll be opening today. The new set for the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, Maze of Memories. And it features some old favorites or personal favorites, such as Gate Guardian. Also, we have the 25th anniversary stamp right there. And I cannot wait for the 25th anniversary sets or the reprints of the old sets, such as Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, and so forth. It's gonna be amazing. Here we go, the box has been opened. We have, let's have a quick look, seven cards per pack and 24 packs per box. So quite some cards that we can pull right here. And oh, I have to say the new pack, this pack looks beautiful. I really like it. This is such a cool pack. Yeah, I like it. Not quite sure where the hollow will be because there is one hollow per pack. I think it might be all the way in the back or perhaps somewhere in the middle. Uh, I keep forgetting for some reason. So we will find out together. Oh yeah, Red Eyes Soul. That is also a new monster. Oh well, a new uh, card here. Very cool. Some Red Eyes support, which I think is the only one in this set. Magnite Blue Sky, we've got some Magnite support too, but I don't play those. Uh, Magnite Red Moon, some cool card. Oh, there he is. Very, very nice. Okay. We've got Court of Justice. Saga of the Dragon Emperor, and I think we've got a Gate Guardian Fusion Monster. We have... Yes! Gate Guardian of Water and Thunder. There we go. So, instead of all three different pieces, the Gate Guardian now also fuses with just two separate pieces between Sanjin, uh, what are the names? Sujin, Sanga, and Kazajin, that's the one. So very, very cool indeed, some new support for that. I also know that a new Rex Raptor deck or support is coming. Oh, here we go, Sanga of the Thunder, as uh, King Rex has now got a new upcoming card as well, which uh, looks pretty damn cool, looking forward for that. Forge of a New Future. Black Wings, yeah, I'm not gonna read that. Photon Orbital, <laughs> I don't know what to make of this. This looks so strange. Hmm. Cars Jin, there we go, we got two out of three pieces. And we've got Soul of the Supreme K. Oh, there we go, yeah. Okay, I was about to say, we're missing the hollow, but here we go. Evolution and Burst for Overload Fusion. Again, I am mainly just here for the Paradox Brother support. I love nostalgia. Yu-Gi-Oh! loves nostalgia too, which is why I keep buying the products. So, um, it's a, it's a love-hate relationship between us two, really. Anyway, we have Soul of the Supreme King again, first double. Imperial Iron Wall. Oh, yeah! Uh, we got another collector's rare that is pretty damn cool. And we go, Mudan the Rika Fairy. Although it is a plant, that's a bit weird. But, we continue. We have Court of Justice again. Deep Dark Trap Hole, and for a hollow we have... Number 39, Utopia Rising. That is a lot of beautiful colors, I have to admit. Anyway, we carry on to the next pack. Let's have a look. We have Costown, which is a pretty old card. This is an old rip. Oh, here we go. Double Attack, Wind and Thunder. So, more Gate Guardian support. I will gladly take that. Put this one aside. Performer Paul Duelist Extraordinaire. That is a long, long name. Good God. Red Eye saw the first card we pulled. We've got Mudan again. Oh, no. Overload Fusion. And then we're down to the, uh, the Hollow. We have... Solemn Judgment. That is wonderful. Okay. Yeah, I will gladly take that. This is also a collector's rare in this set. So... Either Solemn Judgment or the Gate Guardian. I would love to pull one of those as uh, as or Hollows as a collector's rare. That would be phenomenal. It's been a little, it's been a while since I had some decent pulls, really. So um, it would be more than welcome. We have uh, Ryoku uh, Guardian, more Gate Guardian support. This creepy little punk. <laughs> Midwest Super Soldier Ritual, which is for the uh, the one black lost monster in this, which I believe is a Link monster, if I'm not mistaken. Time to stand up. Red Eye Soul again, and oh no, Magnite Yellow Star, and then we have ooh Super Ancient Deep Sea King Kulakant. Pretty pretty neat, and one that I will gladly welcome in my uh, collection. Oh, seems like we have a regular Hollow at the end, kind of. Messed that one up there, but we continue. Magnite Red Moon. God, I'm not gonna try and read that. It's oh, here we go. Labyrinth Wall Shadow. 
Yeah. Oh, and Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth. Yeah, Shadow Ghoul is such a cool monster. That is, I really like it. And Shadow Wall. Shadow Wall is, I don't know why, I love the card. Very cool. Labyrinth Wall, there we go. It's strange that Labyrinth Wall is in here. Psy Beast. Strange how Labyrinth Wall is in this set, but not Wall Shadow. This is, uh, I like this. I really, I, I love opening packs, you guys know that. But this is, it's so much fun. I cannot wait for the 25th anniversary reprints though. Sujin, I think we have all of them now, if I'm not mistaken. Very nice. Uh, time to stand up again. Battle Royale mode, it's Fortnite. Saga of the Dra Dragon Emperor, Jesus. Gate Guardian again. Ooh, Gate Guardians combined, there we go. That is the new Gate Guardian with all separate pieces. No longer an effect monster, but an actual fusion monster this time. Very, very nice indeed. This is the seventh or the eighth pack, I believe. So, uh, still quite some to go. But still, you know, it will be over before we realize it. Whenever you're having fun, things always go faster. And boy, am I having fun opening cards. Whenever I do it, no matter what, I always enjoy it so much. We have Baryon Untopia. Got that, that one again with the strange name. We've got Kazajin again, lovely. Bur burial from a different dimension. I didn't know this one was in here. Very cool. Quite an old one too. Calls down. Rika Petal. And I think we're... Yes! A Labyrinth Heavy Tank, ladies and gents. Ooh, ah, the corner is uh, it's a bit bent there. I don't know if it picks up on camera. It does in person. It's quite, uh, quite obvious too, so... Very, very unfortunate, but still a cool card nonetheless. But anyways, we have Mac Knight Yellow Star again. We've seen that one before. Ancient Fairy Dragon, which again is a dragon, not a fairy. A Forge a New Future. Labyrinth Wall again. Lovely. Super Soldier Ritual. Blackwing. Uh, okay, there we go. A second Gate Guardian of Water and Thunder. Lovely. Anyway. Moving on to the next pack then, as we open this one right here. Some of them seem to be a bit uh, sturdy, which makes them a bit tricky to open. But that are, oh, and again, corner is pretty messed up on both sides. One sticking outwards, oh Jesus, and one sticking inwards. So I hope that is not something special, because that would be very unfortunate. Time to stand up. Calls down, Angel of Loot here, yes. <laughs> as a book, nice. Deep Dark Trap Hole, Baryon Antopia. This creepy little punk, and I think we're down to the rare. We've got Psy Beast. Ah, oh, that's fine. I don't care about Psy Beast, so uh, meh. Okie doke, we carry on. Labyrinth Wall Shadow, we have seen that one before, but I will gladly take it. Magnite Blue Sky again. Kalut the Moon Shadow, that's a funny name. Saga of the Dragon Emperor. Imperian, uh, Imperial Iron Wall, excuse me. Double Attack, Wind and Thunder again. And I think we're down to the rares. We have... On your mark, get set, duel. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that's from 5Ds with the motorcycles, which was always... Eh, you don't play card games on a motorcycle. That is very silly and very, very dangerous too because she can crash. Anyway, we got the, yeah, that. We got Kalut, <laughs> funny name. Burial from a different dimension again. Magnite Red Moon. Ooh, Nimble Angler, another fish. I'll take that, lovely. Shadow Goal of the Labyrinth, awesome. And a Gate Guardian of Wind and Water. There we go, that's one of the other fusion monsters where there is just two parts instead of three. So this is the bottom half. Which, granted, looks a bit strange, but, you know, they do their best, I suppose. In this set, I know that the only ones that really have any crazy value would be the collector's rares. And even those aren't that expensive. But again, you know, I don't really do it for the money, but it would just be lovely to, to pull a collector's rare again. Because it's, it's, it's just so damn cool. Soul of the Supreme King, we've got Sangha again. Forge a new future. We got another Blackwing boy, another Orbital. I I don't know what 
that is okay. It's like a Pokemon, the the grass goat, that's mega evolved or something. I mean, I don't want to judge, but I kind of do. <laughs> they can do the same with me, I suppose. We continue with Kazajin, Soul of the Supreme King, cost down. Double attack, wind and thunder again. Lovely. Uh, extraordinary thing, red eye soul, and gate guardian of thunder and wind. That one, however, is new. Lovely. The top two pieces together. Angel of blue tears. Doesn't matter. Overload fusion. We've seen that one before. Black wing elf and raven. This one is new, I believe. Sujin again. Lovely. Ryoku guardian. Treacherous trap hole. That one is also new. <laughs> Uh, we've got Dual Academy. Oh yeah, this is also a possible collector's rare. That I do know. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool card though, I have to say. This time I only have one box to open. Although I did order two boxes. But one of them I keep for my sealed collection. And the price was a bit high to think I would open two of them. So you know, sometimes... Oh hey, Chaos Form, that one is new. For Black Luster and Dark Magician. I'll put that one aside for my Dark Magician or possible Black Luster deck. That's the Jesus. <laughs> Extra Narragan. Oh, Prey of Jirai Gumo. Right, I forgot about this one. Yeah, that is that is cool. So it's going to be a token of Jirai Gumo. Which is good because Jirai's, Jirai Gumo's original effect is garbage. But it's still a cool card, but it's garbage. And we have... The big old fish again. Still a very, very cool card. So he will also get himself a nice a little sleeve. Alrighty, eight packs left, ladies and gents. So now indeed we have made it to one fourth of the box. Eight out of 24 packs remaining. Will we pull something special? Let us find out together. We have Mudan the Rika Fairy again. Overload Fusion. Royal the, the Royal Decree, excuse me, which I think is new. Sujin, time to stand up. Battle, uh, it's Fortnite. And Utopia Rising. Ha! Ah. The more and more packs that we open, and then pulling such things. Yeah, no. Like, if we're not gonna get anything special, then at least I will hope to pull more Paradox Brother support. Instead of uh, stuff like that, because I, I I could not care any less. We continue with Saga of the Dragon Emperor. Gate Guardian, okay. Very Utopia, we've pulled so much Gate Guardians now. Is it gonna be an omen? Let's hope so. Garzajin, Burial, and Magnite Crusadia Avermax. That one is new, but again, not what I want to see this late in the video because that reduces our chances even more. And if they are being reduced, then I rather have some cards that I actually like, such as the Gay Guardian. I think we might have something. Could be wrong. Cost down. I, s I just saw the border, but I I, I think I'm wrong though. Rika Petal. Magnite Yellow Star. Ancient Fairy Dragon, Forge a New Future, Labyrinth Wall, and... No, oh my, yeah, I was, I was very... Oh, wait! Hang on, this is a Collector's Rare, though. Oh, gee, okay, yeah, this is a Collector's Rare. Yeah, there we go, okay. We got ourselves a Collector's Rare, ladies and gents. Well, honestly, I almost... If it wasn't for the border that I spotted at first, I would have just gone through this without realizing. Because that is almost unnoticeable. Because it has that texture effect on the cards, which you can only really see. There we go. When I zoom in, you can see the texture almost like fingerprints on the card. But the card is just so damn dark that you can barely, barely tell. Unfortunate that it is this one and not uh, the Gate Guardian. I would have loved the Gate Guardian. I really would. But I saw that uh, the price is not too high, so maybe I'll just pick it up as a as a single card. I'm not sure yet. Excuse me. Super Soldier Ritual. But, you know, we got a Collector's Rare. I'm not complaining. It uh, it still is a nice thing to pull. Labyrinth Wall Shadow. Magnite Blue Sky. The Kalut. Saga of the Dragon Emperor. 
Overlay Network. Oh, that is a lot of uh, sparkly things. Very cool card, though. I love the artwork. Look at that. Very lovely card. I'm not going to use it, but it still looks pretty wonderful. Still, I cannot believe we pulled a, a collector's rare and I almost just went through it. Because the card is just so damn dark. But, you know, we got one. That's nice. Uh, but of course, that uh, means that there won't be another one in our box, which is unfortunate. Sujin, Kalut, Labyrinth Wall Shadow, Baryon Entopia, Sangha, Kazajin. Oh, and another Gate Guardian of Water and Thunder. That is the third one. Seeing as we won't be pulling a Collector's Rare anymore, the one at the bottom will be the lucky one that goes into the sealed collection. And... The other one, including this one, we will open and see what else we might be able to pull. Blackwing the Raven, Extraordinaire, uh, Court of Justice, Chaos Form, lovely, this is the second one. Gate Guardian again, Prey of Jirai Gumo, lovely, and another Gate Guardians combined. I think that is the third one as well by now, which is, uh, which is pretty damn neat. I will gladly take that. Alright, and then for the final pack, let's see which one looks nicer. Now they're about the same. This one goes in the collection. And this one we are going to crack right now as the last pack, ladies and gents. Let's have ourselves a look here, shall we? Okay, we start with more support right away, which I do love. Hiroku Guardian. Oh, bit of sand there. Burial from a different dimension. Nimble Angler, that's the third one. Great. Magnite Yellow Star. Magnite Blue Sky, Overload Fusion, and the last card of this video, we have, ladies and gents, Evolution and Bursts. Yeah, not the card that I, uh, yeah, not one that I wanted. So it, we end in a bit of a anti-climax, but um, still, you know, very, very nice. And we, we did get ourselves a Collector's Rare. So that is, uh, that is pretty neat. We did get ourselves a Collector's Rare. Number 39, Utopia Rising. So I'll gladly take it. That all being said, we will see each other in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.